The company which put more personal computers into more homes than anyone else is Commodore, located not in the Silicon Valley, but here in Westchester, Pennsylvania, outside Philadelphia, where the money was, says Jack Trammell. But Trammell is gone now, not only gone, but heading up the forces of competitor Atari. And with personal computer sales leveling off, the pressure is on Commodore to come up with something new. Trying to anticipate what the consumers will need next year, they've come up with a product like the 128, which has twice the capacity and the features that the uh, 64 has, although totally compatible, uh, and yet has the flexibility of dealing with more productivity type of, of applications. Commodore's newest computer is a machine of many faces, operating in three different modes. It offers 128K of memory, but is compatible with the old 64. It can jump between an 80-column and 40-column screen, and in its top mode, it'll run CPM. With the 128's expandable memory, numeric keypad, and extended BASIC, Commodore seems to be aiming for a new segment of the market. Today, the product, quite honestly, is equal to the Apple IIc. It has all the features and functions that the Apple IIc has, and because of our high-volume mass production capabilities, we're able to uh, afford a reasonable margin that the Apple product affords, and yet offer the consumer half the price point. If Commodore is able to lure away potential Apple buyers, it will mark a new kind of push into the already shaky PC market. But the company, once associated with action games and entry-level computers, has loftier goals. And they include the very secretive project called Amiga. The Amiga product has tremendous flexibility and capabilities in the graphics environment, in the telecommunications, as well as uh, trying to focus in on higher education and higher end home. I don't call it a product that will be used exclusively to replace IBM productivity in the office environment or the Fortune 500 or the Fortune 5000. I do call it a, an extremely flexible product that can be used with graphics, animation, and quite honestly, graphics and animation are the next big development in the personal computer business. Using maps, using uh, illustrations, using home banking, shopping by telecommunications and video text, that type of, of media. Timing-wise, uh, we're after, a year after the Macintosh, but quite honestly, when they look at the speed and the architecture of the Amiga compared to the speed and the architecture of the Macintosh, there's no comparison. To some industry observers, the decision to enter the mainstream of the PC market may seem like a risky venture. But Commodore is so confident about its new products, it will soon introduce a third new computer, the LCD Portable with eight built-in programs, a modem 32K of RAM, and a 16 by 80 column screen. The price has not been set, but it will be extremely competitive. Despite industry problems elsewhere, Commodore is not worried about the leveling off of PC sales. I don't believe we've tapped more than 15% of the market in microcomputers, personal computers, home computers, whatever. We think we've captured the mass market. We think we own, we are kings of the mass merchandisers. We don't believe there are any other viable competitors there. We're now looking onward to opening up other channels to strengthen our uh, market position and to try to capture more share in the long haul.